Hi everyone. Welcome to another night of astrophotography. And as you can see, I'm down by one of my favorite locations, Lake Vettern, here in southern Sweden. It's a beautiful night. It's totally calm. Just some minor, minor waves. And the conditions would have been perfect if it wasn't for uh, the high humidity in the air. You can probably even see it that it gives the light pollution on, on the other side of the lake here uh, a bit too much glow for my taste. But we will just make the best of this anyway. So I'm going to set up my first camera here. I'm going to do the time lapse while I wait for, for the Milky Way to rise finally. So I'm going to put the 6D, the Astro modified one, with the 24mm lens here, doing a time lapse of the Milky Way rising. There's quite a bit of light pollution here, as you can see. And I would have to say that it's more than I'm used to. A lot more. It might actually be due to a lot of haze in the air. So my goal here for tonight is to capture a panorama of the Milky Way arch and also uh, the spring Milky Way rising above the lake here. So I'm just going to set up for some foreground shots first and then I will set up the AstroTrack for my tracked sky shots. So we will see what we get from this night. So I have taken my first pano now and I think it's time to set up the AstroTrack. I've tried to level my tripod here as good as I can because I want to be able to do some panning without without getting a tilt on the horizon. So I'm just gonna see if I can do the polar alignment here. Oh wow, there's like a whole cloud band going this way. And that is not going to be good for my Milky Way photography, but you know what? I don't care. Because this is still so beautiful. Yeah, that looks good. So I don't know how many times by now you've heard me say that you should never wait for the perfect conditions because then you might never get to go out or you might miss some really nice nights. And this is exactly one of those nights. The conditions are not even close to perfect. And still, it's one of those nights I wouldn't miss for the world. I'm going to do 16 millimeter shots here now to get a bit of a fast way to catch the entire sky. Because it seems like there might be even more clouds rolling in here. <laughs> here I am trying to find a star to focus on, and I've got the lens cap on. You know what? This is clouding over quickly. I might not even be able to get my sky shots here, you know. But do I care? Nope. I don't care if it's clouding over or I don't get the perfect Milky Way shots. I still get the perfect 
experience of just being out here in the night. But like magic, just before dawn it cleared up. I'm just trying to capture the Antares region. Since it cleared up miraculously in the last few minutes here, but that region is just, it's just too much light pollution in that direction. I really need to get another location for capturing that because that is my absolute favorite part of the night sky. And unfortunately, it's a part of the night sky that I can more or less not catch from here where I live. It's a quarter past four now and the dawn is approaching rapidly here. What a beautiful night and morning. This is just so wonderful. I wish you could hear all the sounds that I hear here as well. The Milky Way is just barely visible to the naked eye now. I actually like this kind of light when it's not completely dark, that you can still see the Milky Way, but the colors of the dawn are approaching and giving the sky this beautiful, beautiful bluish, purplish kind of color. I cannot believe the way it cleared up. Incredible. Look at this. There's something about the combination of water and the night sky that I absolutely love. Now it's time for my final foreground shots here. Yeah, I think that is good. I might need to do a 15 second shot also for each, uh, just to save some of the highlights. In the end, I decided not to use the separate foreground shots. It just didn't look natural to me. I'm going to pack up the AstroTrack now, get my gear together, and then I'm just going to sit here and enjoy a cup of coffee because this is just about as good as it gets. Got to be a bit careful here when stepping on the rocks because there are places with um, like spikes sticking out of the rock. I think it might be from when they were anchoring boats here. This is so great. This is just the best. This was just such a fantastic night and morning. I mean, just look at this. 
this night was just the perfect example of why you should never wait for the perfect conditions. And if you go out expecting the perfect conditions and they turn out to be less than perfect, just hang in there, stick it out and make the best you can out of the situation because this turned out so great. Just when I thought the clouds were rolling in and it wouldn't be anything useful, it cleared up and it just got so beautiful. Here are a few of my images, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.